Hey, what up? It's Tampa Brad kicking it here on my balcony in downtown Tampa. It's beautiful out tonight and fall is in the air. I love it. This is why I love Florida is it's so nice in the winter. I want to shoot a video about law 19 of the 48 laws of power. Law number 19 is know who you're dealing with. Do not offend the wrong person. And this law deals in understanding people being empathetic to what their motivations are and not putting yourself in a situation to where you're gonna get screwed over by somebody else and to not take advantage of someone who's not okay with being taken advantage of in a certain way. So what do I mean by that? That, that could that can mean a lot of different things. I think uh, this is actually a very simple law and what it has to do with is if you're going to deal with somebody, if you're gonna get into cahoots with them, enter into a civil agreement with them, give them something of yours, lend them something, you need to do a couple little tests to get a tell out of them on what type of person they are. Whether they're a type of person who values their name, whether they're the type of a person who says they value your name, their name, but really they're just trying to get by. Whether they're a person who is uh, in extreme coping or whether they are thriving. So I wanna tell a little bit of a story. So uh, in uh, our, main, our main business, it's uh, called Home Love Construction and it's a contracting business and we do residential remodeling. So my dad is the owner of the business, I run it with him. And uh, so we do this thing to where we buy used work vehicles at auctions, government surplus vehicles that are probably 150 plus thousand miles, very heavily used, but we buy them super cheap at auction and then they become work trucks for our employees for home love construction. They can beat on them, they can do whatever, it doesn't really matter because they're not gonna detract from the value that much unless they do something really crazy to them. So we enter an agreement with one of our employees. He uh, wanted to eventually own one of the vehicles that he was using, so we're like, okay, tell you what, if you rent the truck from us for a certain amount of time, make this number of payments, we will then transfer ownership of the truck to you, essentially a rent to own agreement. Uh, it was loosely written out on paper, he gave a deposit, we started doing it, and then the employee quit. And when he quit, he took the truck with him. So what wound up happening is we had to pay $1,400 for a, maybe a truck that's worth maybe five grand to get it repossessed from Key West up to Miami. Then my dad had to spend another $100 on a plane ticket to Miami to go and get the truck and lost his entire Sunday, which is one of the few days he gets off where he can actually recover from work and then be rested to go and hammer it again the next week. Now, that entire cost could have been avoided if up front we had known who we were dealing with and we had applied law number 19 and understood that this person was in extreme coping. This person, uh, we've come to find out, is actually a, a drug user of really seriously hard drugs and uh, just not a person who you would generally want to be selling a vehicle to without some sort of extremely strongly written legal document saying that basically if you don't pay for the truck, you're gonna, it's gonna be a felony or something like that. From what I understand, you can do that with legal documents, but we took too lightly this law and it wound up costing us. We're probably gonna lose about $1,000 over the course of time loss, lost productivity and actual expenses versus what his deposit was and how much we're gonna have to pay to just get the truck back. So that was an extreme failure on my part, especially my part because I'm, I think of myself as an advisor to my dad, even though he's the owner of the company, he's a, he's a, he's a grown man, he makes his own decisions, but I try to advise him because I'm, privy to these things, like the 48 Laws of Power, I'm making freaking videos of them for God's sake. I should have been warning him or saying something about it to him, like, you know, know who you're dealing with, this person might be in coping, blah, 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 blah. I didn't bring those things up, so it was a failure on my part to obey the law and bring it to his attention that it could have been a mistake. So I, uh, this is really gonna be a short video. I just wanted to use it as kind of a, a, a fun little story about give you an insight into our life and the struggles that I go through, but also, as an anecdote and a warning to really obey this law, understand that you have to know who you're dealing with and that if you don't know who you're dealing with, it will cost you emotionally, it will cost you financially, and it will cost you as far as time. And if you see my other videos, you know that I'm a huge proponent of the phrase that if you don't value your time, you don't value your life. So value your time, know who you're dealing with up front, and don't get caught in a situation like we did with our pants down. Now we're out money, time, and we're not gonna get it back. So now we gotta go from here and we gotta be better about it in the future. So I wanna leave it on that positive note. 
always, even if you do get taken advantage of by someone, don't let it jade your perspective of life. Don't let it be you know, a detriment to you. Use it to go up, use it to fuel your upward spiral, keep going. Don't give up. People are always gonna be out there trying to take advantage of you. Just some people are in coping and they're not in thriving and they see a person in thriving, they just see them as a person they can take from. So don't let that bring you down. Use it as a marker of success and that you're on the right path. That's what I'm doing. I've told my dad, look, this is a marker that we're on the right path. If we have so much that people are trying to take from us, we're killing it, we're thriving, we're going up. And people, some people think that they can't go up with you. That's the, the crazy thing is people think that they can't go up with you. So they just try to take and then get out. Take what, grab what they can and get the F out. So. Don't let those people bring you down. I appreciate you watching this video. If you got any value out of it, or if you're getting any value at all out of the videos that I'm putting out, I really would encourage you to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it so that you get notified when I'm dropping new vids. If you're not subscribed and you're not hitting the notification bell, you're not gonna be updated when I'm dropping new videos. And there's so much going on. There's so many great people putting out content on YouTube that is going to be drowned out in the sea of content that's out there. So be sure you hit that bell, it's super important. Also, if you have feedback for me, hit me up on Instagram, at Tampa Brad. I respond to all my comments and I respond to all my DMs. So hit me up there, I would love to hear from you about what you're thinking about these videos, what's resonating with you, if you think I'm an idiot, if you think I'm great, whatever you think about these videos, any feedback is super valuable to me, helps me dial in on what is really hitting for you. I'm not gonna change the message, but I may change the delivery if something is more effective than something else. If you like when I'm monotone, maybe I'll be monotone. If you like when I'm crazy, maybe I'll be crazy. But let me know on Instagram either way. Thank you for watching the vid. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one very soon. About to go to bed and kick it off tomorrow morning for a great week. I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.